Hey guys, it's Cyclops here from Overclock.net. Uh, so yeah, this will be the test system. Oh, well, I should actually mention what I'm doing here. If you guys don't know, there will be a link in the description saying uh, what I'm about to do. It's basically butchering a perfectly fine i7 Ivy Bridge. Doesn't want to focus. 3770K. And uh, the reason why I'm doing this is because I want to test the meth about temperature drop. If you remove the IHS, use a better tin, blah, blah, blah. So right now, this is the rig. Let me just go over the hardware pretty quickly. Uh, it's a 400 and something watt power supply. Just put it in there just for the sake of, you know, running the system. Uh, I'm going to do a small overclock. You should be able to handle it. Uh, yes, controversial, uh, controversial part. CPU cooler H50, original Corsair H50. It's not the best, but uh, that's the only thing. Uh, that's the only one I could fit in the case without removing a motherboard, doing all sort of crazy stuff. Uh, so it's it's on a push pull with two uh, Delta fans. These are the three 3300 RPM fans, 150 CFM each. Should give it plenty of cooling. And uh, I do have a C14. Uh, NUG 21HC14 ready and a couple of uh, Hyper 212 pluses plus a uh, Prolimitic Mega Halons and a couple more uh, CPU coolers if this one doesn't work out or there's some sort of issues but should take care of the problem uh, RAM, you're currently just using a single 2 gigabyte stick of uh, Mushkin DDR3600 1600 megahertz 686 24 timing Graphic card, you just put it in there for display. Really, it's a uh, GT210, uh, GeForce GT210. It's like the crappiest, uh, least powerful graphic card ever. I mean, well, it's a bit better than the 8400 GS, but that's not important. Got a two terabyte hard drive there, and uh, the motherboard is a Maximum Maximus uh, 4 Gene Z. It's a Z68 model. Uh, micro ATX, Republic of Gamers, all the good stuff. Uh, so yeah, right now there's a, I'm not sure if you guys can see, i3-2120 in there. I just want to, that's like a redundant chip I just put there to flash the bias to the latest version so I can use the 3770K. I have to do that. Uh, what else? Oh, CPU, oh, there'll be some uh, rules to this, of course. Uh, if I can find a damn thing. There we go. Uh, well, I'm gonna test the, after I uh, remove everything. I'm gonna test it in a different, uh, in a variety of ways, basically. First is the original CPU, just normal stuff. Uh, in each test, the CPU and the CPU heatsink will be cleaned by Indigo Extreme, so that'll take some of the guesswork out. I will be using every single time for all the tests the. MX4, you guys can see it, uh, Ar Arctic Cooling MX4, I don't know, I think that's that's pretty much about it, I'm kind of excited, I'm going to butcher a perfectly fine 3770, well I say perfectly fine, but uh, a lot of people think it's flawed, at least the uh, heat dissipation system is, might be the case here, might not be, we'll find out, so yes, I will uh, flash the bias and come back in a bit. Okay guys, back for a quick update. Uh, so I just want to show you the BIOS settings I'm going to be using. Uh, first off, the BIOS revision uh, should be the latest, which is 3305. So that's the latest. Uh, I'm going to use two different modes to test the temperature. First is the default, which uh, we're going to... They, I've created two profiles. The first one is the name default, which everything is a default. Everything's set to auto. The second one is a 4.2 gigahertz overclock, 1600 megahertz on the memory, using about 1.3 volts, LCR load line calibration at 50%. Uh, so we're just going to load uh, profile 1 and see uh, that everything is set to auto, haven't touched anything, everything auto, 
for the profile 2 what I've done is basically disable all the power saving features uh, well the thing is I haven't tested the CPU and ha don't know how well it overclocks but you know I gave it something general and I'm pretty sure even the crappiest 3770K would do which is 4.2 gigahertz at 1.3 volts I'm pretty sure every single processor uh, can do that I mean the of this kind so I just gave it something that I knew would work I uh, put the DDR3 at 1600 megahertz by the way I believe the if I leave it at default uh, the memory goes back to 1333 for some reason so uh, yeah so 1600 mem uh, memory speed uh, power saving modes disabled voltage that's for the memory 1.65 volts uh, CPU voltage 1.3 volts uh, most of the stuff are on auto spectrum disabled obviously and if we go to CPU performance settings of disabled st uh, speed step which is the power saving and turbo mode is enabled it has to be in order it will be uh, for it to be overclocked and advanced this is the CPU configuration I left it pretty much all on stock except for the C1E and C3 and C6 which are turned off. Those are the power saving modes. I just don't want it. Don't didn't want anything to interfere. And now I'm going to what was it doing? I totally forgot. There we go. All right, uh, we load profile one which is the 3.5 gigahertz and uh, 3.9 gigahertz with turbo I'm gonna do, well, I haven't taken the CPU heatsink off I'm gonna be doing that after I'm done with these two tests and I'll see you guys back when I'm in Windows alright guys so it's the moment of truth uh, as you can see like I said, the memory is running at 1333 to 670, but that's a DDR, uh, so you know it doubles. Uh, 3770K, 22 nanometers, it's at idle, so it's 1.6 volts, I mean, 1.6 gigahertz, and around 1.1 volts. Everything's on stock. Uh, the temperatures right now are. the lowest temperatures and you know the idle uh, I'd say 22 degrees or 23 degrees average <clears throat> 4 gigs of memory is installed not that important now I'm gonna start the Prime 95 and let it run for about 10 minutes or so kinda short in time 10 minutes should be able to determine uh, how hot it gets it never gets really I think uh, it's about 55 degrees uh, I'm gonna be using the large FFT. Oh, by the way, this is Prime 95 version 27.7. Just thinking if I've missed anything that I should be mentioning. No, everything's set to go. So, uh, torture test, large FFT, go. So, the temps. using all eight cores or uh, four cores and eight threads right now temperatures are let's say around 50 and uh, for some reason I've tested it's it's running at 3.7 gigahertz I mean when the turbo kicks in it should go straight to 39 but for some reason uh, it's not I'm not sure if the processor or the motherboard or uh, but yeah, for whatever reason, it's stuck at 3.7, and it's using 1.1 volts roughly. CPU is at 100%. Uh, all right, I'll uh, I guess I'll cut this off here, and uh, I'll be back in about 10 minutes. <clears throat> all right, guys, it's been roughly 10 minutes. Uh, well, a bit more. I had to restart the test. I ended it prematurely. As you can see. Uh, Temperatures are not good, not good at all. Uh, 
55 to 60, average about 56, and the ambient is uh, 25.8. I'm just going to end the test now. It's been roughly 10 minutes. Execution halted at, yeah, 10 minutes. So yeah, 60 on the hottest, core 53 the coolest. Now I'm just going to take a screenshot of this. And uh, I have to reboot, going to BIOS, load the overclock profile, and I'll be back. Alright, this is the overclock test. As you can see, the memory's been... Well, it's on XMP, so oh, 1600 megahertz, 68624, 1T. Same CPU, obviously, 4.2 gigahertz. Right now it's running at 1.3 volts. Uh, I'll see what the droop will be at 50% LLC. Temperatures idle, hovering around 30 degree mark, a bit less. Going to start Prime 95 on large FFT. see the voltages right so the LLC uh, on load line calibration uh, dropped the voltage about 20 milliamps now 30 so it's a bit l lower than the V core I said I said 1.3 volts it's hovering at around 1.27 temperatures right now uh, closing up to 80 67 coolest, 77 highest, about 72, 73 average, maybe a bit more. I'll be back when the test is finished. Oh, and the ambient is 25.8, haven't changed. 